YouTubers. It's me out here by the wood stove. I had one of the friends of mine, or one of my subscribers, wanted to, uh, to know exactly how my outside wood stove worked. Well, here's another video of it. It's uh, quite large. This thing holds about 360 gallons of water. And the more water they hold, the better they do. And uh, I put wood in this thing about every evening around, say, 6 o'clock. And it's going on just about, I guess, 9.30, quarter to 10 the next day. But that's what's left in there from a night. I only load it once a day. And you can see I, I burned some pretty big wood. But uh, he kind of wanted to know how it worked. Well, this is how it works. This is a circulator pump and I pull the hot water off the top because it's hotter than the water on the bottom which heat rises everybody knows that and this is the one that goes to the shop okay and no wait a minute this is the one that goes to the house this one over here is the circulator pump that goes to my shop which I have that hooked up where I can just come out here and unplug it because I shut the heat off a lot sooner in the shop than I do in my house because this is the only means of heat I have. Okay, this is a thermostat. This is what regulates how hot this stove gets. I keep it set on 150 degrees. A lot of people run them at 180. I can't justify it because it just wastes wood. And this solenoid right here, when this thing calls for heat, to heat this wood, uh, this thermostat here tells this when to come on. And when this comes on, it opens this door and starts this blower up. And then this blower is what uh, stokes the fire again. Okay, and then this stove here, this stove will heat 10,000 square feet. It has two more zones. I can hook up two more registers in it. And uh, you can use this for in-floor heating. You just have to hook up more stuff. But the secret to these wood stoves is the pipe. Insulating the pipe, what's underground. Because there's where you lose your heat. And I have my pipe running into the house. And when it comes back from the house, if the blower's not on in my house, I lose one degree. So that's pretty efficient. And I made my own pipe because this stuff's about $12 a foot. And I'm too damn tight to pay that for it. And it's cheaper just to make it. And take two or three days to make it. Uh, so and the way i made this pipe was is i took this insulation here wrapped my pipe then i wrapped it in this and then i turned around and what's in the ground is wrapped with a a mat insulation like you would use in the walls of your house then i wrapped it in plastic and then I slid it through six inch PVC. And that's what's buried under the ground so you don't lose that heat. Um, does a pretty good job. These are built in hot water heaters, but I don't use it because you have to run more pipe. It's easier just tap into the line going in. There you go, blower just come on. That's gonna stoke that fire and uh, I'll go around here and I'll show you how it catches back on fire. It does pretty good.
but you'll see it'll it'll pick up if you look down there you can see them coals they're already turning red and then eventually that'll just turn into a flame and it'll heat back up and it's see them coals up there getting hot and it'll light back off and then it does it quicker if the door shut because right now it's blowing air out towards me but it's not real cold today either uh, but I'll take you in the shop and I'll show you the thing here in the shop well actually I'll show you here in the building where I come up with my heat but this is the pipe coming into my out of the ground and then I didn't case it but I got it coming up and it goes over and it goes across and goes into the thing here and so yeah my building that's my catch-all but uh, then we'll go over here because right now it's um I don't know if you can see that. I got about, what is that, 50, it's about at 58 degrees, it's almost 60 out. And uh, those of you that use Celsius, it's uh, 10, 11, 12, it's 13 degrees Celsius, which that's pretty good because last week that damn thermometer was hanging over here where my finger is, and then it would have been almost 20 degrees Celsius. It was cold as shit last week. All the snow's done left. Last couple days been in the 60s. You can see down there there's still snow or still some snow here, but it's really warmed up. It's t-shirt weather today. It's nice out. But uh, I'll take you in here and uh, show you my, oh, that's my tractor sitting there. Uh, mow my grass with but uh, I'll go here flip on some lights but uh, it just goes into this here heater of course I didn't insulate them lines they're insulated right to the ceiling which you can see there where they come through that hole but uh, it stays pretty warm in here. I keep it about 70 degrees in here. And I made the box. And I just put this blower here on it. Which you can see here. And and uh, took some stuff here and made it where it would blow straight through. Blower's a little bigger than it, but it works good. And over here, I have this thermostat. I keep it on 60 because it actually when that's on 60 it's 10 degrees off it stays 70 in here and if you can see the thermometer there it's maybe I can get some yeah there you go that's 70 degrees and not too many people can come into their shop six o'clock in the morning and It'll be 70 in their shop. A lot of people, I don't even shut it down. I just leave it set there and put an extra piece of wood on. And you can see uh, that's air holes under the doors. And, you know, uh, windows are just storm windows. They're not insulated or triple pane or nothing. They're just windows and nothing fancy. But I uh, thought I'd make this video and uh show you guys a little bit about my outside wood stove he was kind of interested in it he said for insurance purposes he couldn't have a wood stove in the house which i understand same thing here but uh the first wood stove i had like that was uh i made and it run me 20 years and then it finally wore it out and then I picked this one here up and put it in you I didn't buy it new but I bought it from a guy that uh, was moving and that stove's right around ten thousand dollars new and I picked it up for a thousand dollars 
oh, I don't know how many years ago, so I just updated my old stove with it. But if you're gonna do an outside wood stove, the pipe, if you don't put in a good R value of pipe, you're wasting your time. You'll burn more wood than you can haul home because they do burn a little more wood than an ordinary wood stove. But if I just heat my house with it, I don't think it does. But I'm heating about, uh, oh, probably 4,000 square feet here, maybe a little more than that, and not counting the air holes and the waste. But, uh, cause I don't care if the doors are up or down, I just, you know, but I'm kind of rambling and so I'm going to cut this video off and, but he was interested in it and it's been three weeks since I've heard from his post there and I haven't gotten back with him and, or anything and I feel kind of bad about that. So I apologize and, uh, I'll get this posted up here and you can take a look at it and then that way you can make your own decision on how you want to heat your house but it sure is nice when you only got to put wood in your wood stove once my wife keeps her house or our house 78 degrees and a tad bit hot but she's cold all the time even in the summertime she keeps it about 80 she don't like cold weather and so uh, I guess someday we'll probably move to warmer climate. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later and I'll see y'all later on. I'll keep in touch.